Tonight we are experiencing some delays at Logan Airport. We're wondering when things can clear up. We'll have more on that coming up. Also new tonight, we're hearing from one of the Western Coventry firefighter paramedics seriously hurt in a hit and run about a month ago. It happened while they were responding to a call. Weeks later, police are still searching for the suspect. Our Kayla Fish spoke to the victim about how she's doing and her message for the person responsible. Kayla. Miranda Hennessy tells me she's feeling stronger every day, and while the mother of three says she's eager to get back to work helping people, her road to recovery has been tough. What's even harder, she says, is knowing the person who hit her is still out there. The biggest question is why they didn't stop. It's something Miranda Hennessy has thought about repeatedly after what happened on May 29th. The Western Coventry firefighter paramedic was responding to a medical call on Victory Highway. This night, they were using a fire truck because their ambulance had an issue. So as we stopped, um, I checked to see if there was oncoming traffic, um, as we always do. It's just kind of like the basic sense of, you know, due diligence. Seeing nothing, she and her partner started to get out. That's when police say someone driving a minivan slammed into the fire truck's door. The very first memory I have after the event was waking up on the cold metal table at Rhode Island Hospital in the trauma room. Hennessy says she had a compound open fracture in her leg, a severe concussion, and lots of scrapes and bruises. Just weeks later, she's walking again, something her doctors told her usually takes up to four months. Yeah, I think I was fortunate that the, it was the fire engine that we were driving that night. I feel like the steel door probably provided a lot more support and a, a lot more, you know, protection. She says she's grateful for the support from her first responder family in Coventry and in Fall River, where she also works. Because so much of my life and my job depends on my physical strength, um, being able or being in a position to help other people, um, it's been very humbling to be in a position where I was the one getting help. Hennessy hopes her story encourages people to drive more carefully around first responders. As for the person who hit her, I can respect and appreciate, you know, you were driving a minivan. I drive a minivan too. You might have kids. You have probably have a family who wants you to do the right thing. She's asking the suspect to come forward. You know, you've kept this all a mystery, but in the meantime, I, um, I see a minivan that matches the description that the Coventry Police Department put out and uh, it, it can sometimes cause me to panic because I don't know who you are. That can be really scary. Coventry Police are looking for a Chrysler minivan with damage to the passenger side and they're offering a reward for any details about the incident. If you know anything, you can find contact information for detectives and the tip line right now at WPRI.com. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.